Hi, my name is Bill Miller, and I'll be your chemistry instructor this semester. And I wanted to just take a couple minutes to let you know how I've set up my study space here, my, well, my lecturing space. Uh, I've got uh, multicolor pens here, and that's because I take notes in multi, I write notes in multicolors. I also take notes in multicolors. I've also got a hot beverage here, and uh, it's in a thermal cup because sometimes uh, I work for a little while and I don't like to get up too often. I, I do like to stretch every once in a while, but I want to keep my beverage nice and hot. Uh, I've got my calculator here. It's just a simple calculator. This one will be fine. This will be uh, the one that I use for the entire semester. I've got a periodic table, and uh, which is available in the, um, the syllabus and handouts section of the course. I've also got my conversion and equation sheets, which are multiple pages. Um, and then I've also got my nomenclature sheet right here. I'm trying to think if I have anything else. Nope. All right, then let's get back to the notes, or let's get to the notes. This is lecture handout one. So uh, uh, I usually call them actually lecture outlines, and I picked up the wrong pen, but this is going to be also lecture outline one. And we'll start with a question and a picture of Shrek. Uh, question, how is chemistry like an onion? It stinks. It makes you cry. Well, hopefully not. It has layers. And either way, I like parfaits. Uh, it has layers. And in this course, we're going to start with the very outside layer and uh, start your journey towards working towards the center of that. And what I mean by that is, so the stuff we're going to teach you in this course is what I like to say uh, greater than, which way is greater than in this, uh, greater than 95% true. And the 5% that's not true are refining of the details. Uh, and so um, this course is very much um, set to prepare you for the general chemistry course that comes next. And that general chemistry course I've been teaching for the last uh, 10 plus years. So I know exactly what you need. And hopefully you'll feel well prepared and uh, feel, feel well supported in getting to that. All right, so uh, it has layers. Uh, we're starting on the outside layer. And one of those is, so first, how do you study? And how do you study specifically this course? And um, first thing is to set realistic expectations. And your expectation should be that you have six hours per week of class materials, class time. That's uh, lecture outlines sitting here, well, not for all that time, but sitting here um, three hours a week um, doing lecture, watching lecture videos and taking notes. So, um, and then the other three hours are, of course, lab time. That makes up six hours of class time per week. Uh, plus, I'm going to call it uh, eight to ten or nine hours per week per week study time. And that study time will include homework, it'll include writing up lab reports, it'll include uh, possibly uh, reviewing and revising your lecture notes, uh, some of which we've just started. This is page number one studying for exams, and I realize that, you know, you ha probably have a lot of things going on in your life, other classes, family responsibilities, uh, jobs, and, and so hopefully you have the time to do this. No matter how much time you have, if you're in my class, I will support you the best as I can. Just I have been teaching this for, uh, wow, 22 23, this is my 23rd year now. And that's typically what it takes. Some people take more. Some people take less. Some people are going for A's. Some people are going for C's. Doesn't matter to me. I'm here to support you. Uh, 
All right. Uh, B, do the homework and understand it. Do the homework and understand it. Um, so the homework, by the way, is the basis for the exams in this course. So the more you know about the homework, the more points you get for the homework, and the better prepared you will be for the exam. Now, uh, what else? Oh, C, get all of your questions answered. And one thing I like to say is that chemistry is hard enough when you get all of your questions answered. It is infinitely harder when you do not. Now, this is an online class. How do you get your questions answered? Well, one best method is to come to office hours. Check the uh, home page uh, where I have my office hours and you'll see when they are. Block that time out to come see me every week and get all of your questions answered. Best way to do it. If you can't do that, second best way is to get um, to email me anytime you have a question and I should be, get back to you within 24 hours during the week and uh, 48 hours over the weekend. If I don't, please email me again. It is my goal to answer all of your questions in a timely manner. And if I don't, I never mind and I'm always okay if you email me again. Uh, D is be point efficient. And what I mean by that is, so you do the homework, you do the lecture outlines, LO again is my abbreviation for lecture outlines, and you do the labs. And when you do them, I will answer every single question you have if you start early enough. Now, I can't answer every, que answer every question you have if you start the night before it's due, but assuming you start uh, with enough time to ask me questions. I will answer all of the questions you have, eventually almost telling you the answer, giving you step-by-step -step instructions to get there or somewhere in between there. Get all those points. Those points do two things. They boost your grade and they prepare you for the quizzes and exams. Double bonus. Um, so then there's the quizzes and exams. The quizzes and exams are the harder points. I won't answer questions about those, uh, certainly while you're taking them, although I all, will always answer questions when you're done about them as well. Um, so anyway, be point efficient. If you want a good grade in this class and you want to learn a lot, do all the work. Uh, that's how the class is structured. Now, uh, how do you study best? Um, some suggestions. So A, break your study time into one to two hours per day, every day. So study one to two hours uh, per day, every day. The repetition helps. Uh, and of course, that, uh, and so study, so let's see, that's, so let's say it's two hours a day, that is 14 hours a week. So, um, and that's about, well, that's about how much you're supposed to work. So it says six hours of class time, nine hours of study time, that's 15 hours. And you're pretty close there. Um, everybody does it differently. That's how I learn best. Um, B, <laughs> uh, I've taken online classes myself, and I realize that sometimes it's helpful to speed up or slow down the videos. Feel free to do that. Speed up or slow down the videos. Repeat, repeat parts. Because for me, and maybe for you, hearing it over and over again can, you know, helps the logic sink in. So totally helps me anyway. Um, but 
Watch them all. You'll see that these uh, lecture videos in particular will have times where you have to write something down in the notes. And sometimes I will write down exactly what you have to uh, write down yourself. And other times I will just say uh, at the bottom of the page, make sure you do this. Write a sentence about what this page means or draw a picture. So uh, you will, if you just watch the videos and you speed through them and you just write down uh, what I write down on the pages, you will, two things will happen. One, your notes will be incomplete because I will talk through things and make you write them down. Two, I will look for those things and if they're missing, you will lose points. So make sure you watch them all. Listening, writing, give it the time it needs. And, you know, this is uh, you, perhaps your first chemistry course of at least a couple. And this is a great skill to have. Again, speed up, slow down, repeat, but watch them all. Um, C, talk about chemistry with people. Talk about chemistry with people. And these can be your classmates. These can be your family members. Uh, they can be anybody, really. And I just like to say that uh, and they can be me. Please make it be me, too, during office hours. Really, I've seen so many students just figure things out themselves. Talk about chemistry with yourself. I do that. You're going to be in the privacy of your own home staking this course. Talk about it with yourself. Talk yourself through it. Uh, but what I meant to say there is join a study group. If you check the syllabus, you'll see there are details about what you need to do to join a study group. And study groups can get you extra credit. All right. Um, now, uh, again, a suggestion for me. I like to listen to music while I study. That helps me. Not all people can do it. Um, what do you like to do? I think uh, my daughter was telling me that her and her friends like to have a movie in the background when they study sometimes. Uh, uh, that would be hard for me, but everybody does it differently. Somebody, some people need silence. Some people wear headphones. Now, um, I am going to forecast this one. And uh, so D, what I want you to do is write down two things that help you study. Whatever those two things are, write them down right here. I'll be looking for them when I grade your lecture outlines. 